Hello, art nerds, and we are painting Steve McQueen from Le Mans for the third and final time. I'm starting with some colour because there's not a lot of colour in this painting. Let's go! So, um, I felt like I was a bit, what's the word, morose? Is that the right word? Is that, a, is that a word? Uh, I'm sure it is in the last video, the narration. Um, so I'm going to be trying to be a bit more upbeat in this one. Um, so we're painting Steve McQueen from the Le Mans film, uh, which is a passion project he made in 1971, I think. Um, it's a, it's a, it's, <laughs> it's not aged well, the film. I think you need to be a real big car nerd to um, appreciate it. Uh, I'm not uh, a car nerd at all. I know about as much about cars as... Um, hmm, I can't think of anything funny to say. Uh, I know about as much about, I know about as much about cars as, and then put your uh, second bit down in the comments to make me sound funny. Anyway, so, um, the other two Le Mans paintings I did was one of Steve walking away from the car with his hat in his hand, hat, helmet, <laughs> um, and the car itself, the Porsche 917K. Sounds like I know what I'm talking about. This one is a bit more me. This one's a bit more rock and roll, a bit more in your face. This is Steve giving the up yours, uh, up yours, up yours, mate, um, V sign to the crowd, to another driver. I'm not sure. I didn't get through the whole film. <laughs> um, I love Steve McQueen. I wasn't a fan of this one, but uh, this is really rock and roll. He is a cool dude. We will know that. Any of the films he's in, he's very, very cool. Um, and he has this sort of swagger, which is what I want to capture here. Um, and this is what I was planning on doing is this swagger. Um, the, the car one was about the car. The other one was about the like the driver. This one was about the swagger. So what was the plan here? The plan was, again, to have it a very minimalist painting, but have enough, a bit more detail, a bit more dirt to it, if you like. So the um, jacket or the jumpsuit or the racing suit, what would you call it? A onesie, a racing onesie. <laughs> so the racing onesie, which um, is all white uh, without, with bar two stripes, which are red and blue, corresponding to the color of the car. Um, I just did this in shades of gray. I think we did, let me see, one, two, three, four, four, five, five shades of gray. Hang on, stay so one, two, three, four, five shades of gray and a black. Um, and then some white, but the white, the highlight for the white was coming from the background. So it's kind of uh, bursting through. Um, kind of like a transparent look. You see there on the fingers, how it looks like it's coming through. Anyway, access to. And then the face, um, painting this one, I kept thinking he looks like Sid James. Um, he doesn't look like Sid James at all. And I don't know why I kept thinking it, but it came, kept making me giggle. Um, Steve McQueen's got a cool face. Um, he's got a weird haircut, um, which I really struggled with. I said this in the last video, the other one, Steve McQueen. I don't know why his hair just bugged me. It's like half receding half curly anyway uh, why am i insulting it's one of the coolest people who ever live i'm not meaning to i was on the point of painting it um so his face um is in shades of gray <laughs> oh, i don't know i've run out of things to say haven't I? I i've made so many videos i've just completely void of interesting information um his face as always, built up of block colours, shades. Um, those shades go from light to dark or dark to light to create the tone and to create the shape and the form. So the form of the nose, the form of the cheeks, uh, the lips, the ears, the hair, etc. The black adds the depth and then the black detail, which I had right at the end, um, adds the what well, the pizzazz to it. Uh, watch what I'm doing there with the pen. See, I get my Posca out, going around, this Posca pen is like a paint pen going around, defining everything, cross-hatching things, putting detail in, stuff that I could do with a brush, but I find it quicker with a pen, and I'm a bit more accurate, and I love the cross-hatch um, comic book look. Everything I do is comic book. Um, these paintings all felt very comic booky. As I said in one of the other ones, I felt like I was painting a Dick Tracy painting, I think just because of the era of it. Um, so the... Um, Black paint is acrylic. The greys are all acrylic. I buy one acrylic paint, and in this case it's a Liquitex one. I can't remember what it's called. Let's call it grey number five. And then I just mix up and down, adding more white to make it light, adding more black to make it dark. Now, your different colours of black give you different tonal ranges. Mars black is blue. Then you've got oh, carbon black, which is the one I used here. 
And there's loads of blacks, and I should do a video on blacks. Anyway, some blacks have blue in, some have brown in, some have grey in. They have different tones, therefore it makes, when you mix, have a different colour. So sometimes when you mix a grey and you use Mars black, it makes a very blue grey, um, which I wasn't too keen on. So this one, I went for a carbon black. I think it's called like lampshade black in some brands. Um, it's a black which is made from carbon, so it's black black. That was fun. <laughs> well, let's get back to the painting. What am I doing? Painting lots of things white. There's a lot of white paint on this. Uh, a lot of painting white over white, which is fun because you can't remember where you've painted or what you've painted. Um, and you, uh, yeah, you get a bit lost. Uh, the white paint, I was silly here. I, I um, primed the canvas in gesso um, and then drew it out and then painted it. And what I should have done, I should have primed it in gesso, then gave it a big uh, sweep of white acrylic over the whole of it um, and then drawn the painting that way i shouldn't have i wouldn't have had to have needed to go in between the little bits so much with the white and i'm just touching up the last bits here with the posca as before adding the badges this flag the i don't know what those things are golf and her um and just to find it all and there he is i mean the attitude in his face and his hands from the original photograph is all this painting is about attitude uh it's a good fuck you and i really enjoyed this one because of that because of the the, the look on his face and there it is i mean you the, <laughs> the fuck off <laughs> i just love it um this was a real fun painting to do of mr steve mcqueen from the film le mans this is the last one of the three paintings i will not be painting any more le mans paintings for maybe 20 to 30 years <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this one um should i say subscribe no because i swore i never would i'll see you soon take care and bye yeah. <laughs>